A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to show you how to work with the, the HTML5 video player and it should be accomplished within 2-3 minutes. Shouldn't it take long at all. Uh, let me first open up my local site folder. Guys, whatever we are going to do in Dreamweaver isn't really going to, going to take uh, any time but uh, the preparation uh, for making an HTML5 video player is what actually consumes or uh, needs more time and attention guys this is my local site folder and uh, it has uh, two folders the first one is called the po uh, is called poster the second one is called videos now guys uh, whenever we are uh, using uh, videos in HTML5 we need to ensure that we need to have all the three formats the mp4 format the org video file and also uh, we need to have the webm uh, format so we need to have the webm the org video and the uh, mp4 uh, I'll tell you why we need all the three formats. The reason is that uh, most modern uh, browsers are compatible with any one of these uh, three. Okay, so all browsers do not play all the formats, so it's necessary to have all the three formats ready in your videos folder. All right, now let's talk about this uh, poster folder. Poster. Now this is a picture, guys, and this picture is going to show up before someone actually activates the the uh, video player and hits the play button so before you hit the play button the picture that shows up is uh, called called the poster picture so this uh, poster is uh, nothing but the initial picture that will show up before somebody actually starts to play the video alright very good now guys there's another question you may say that I just have the mp4 or the webm or the OGV the org video uh, how do I get the other formats so let's say you have the mp4 and you don't have the other formats it's very easy guys so you what you can do is you can uh, download from the internet an open source uh, program it's called Miro video converter okay and uh, using this Miro uh, <coughs> video converter you can get all the three formats uh, Theora here stands for uh, the OGV format and uh, then you have the WebM and the MP4 so you can get all the three formats uh, you know you can change over from one format to the other very easily using, uh, using this uh, open source uh, Miro video converter lovely alright guys now let's start with Dreamweaver okay this is the Dreamweaver initial welcome screen or the splash screen and I'm gonna hit on the create new HTML button okay guys so uh, I'm in the code area let me go to the split view or well, let me just withhold the split view for a moment the first thing that I would want to do is guys notice that the doc type here is um, XHTML1 okay and the first thing that I'll do is I'll convert it to HTML5 and it's very easy guys all you need to do is you should say file convert and uh, HTML5 lovely wasn't that easy guys there was yet another way of doing it let me show that to you as well let's say a file and a new alright and then where it says the doc type you can say HTML5 and then say create and uh, you should be fine that way as well let me cancel it okay uh, now guys uh, the cursor is blinking inside the body area alright let me go to the split view now now guys what I'm gonna do is I'm going to insert an HTML5 player widget. So I'm going to click on this insert uh, option here. Go down, go to widget, and in the widgets, I have quite a many widgets here, okay, that I brought over from the widget browser. Now we'll come back to the widget browser. I'll show you how to get this HTML5 video player widget uh, version 1. Uh, we'll cover that up a little later okay um, right now probably you may not have the HTML5 video player widget uh, in your uh, Dreamweaver version okay uh, and I'll show you how to get it it probably might even be empty 
if it's newly installed and you don't know how to work with the, the widget browser. Anyways, so what I'll do is uh, from the drop down menu I'll select HTML5 video player widget and uh, then I'll say OK. Alright, uh, the moment I say OK guys, uh, you should notice that quite a number of files uh, open up as you can see uh, here next to the source code. Also you should see uh, a gray kind of a square out here in the uh, design area. Now guys, uh, just for some time I need to go back to the code uh, view. Alright, now guys what I need to do is I need to in the opening video tag change certain attributes the way I like them and this is the closing video tag guys so this is the opening video tag this is the closing video tag alright that is inside the body tags I need to change the poster I completely need to do away with the duration that I'll do now okay I also need to change the source now right now the source is set set to certain address which is HTTP colon uh, forward slash forward slash uh, CDN dot uh, Kaltura dot org what I need to do is I need to include my own source I need to tell Dreamweaver that please play only my source and please use only my poster we've talked about the poster guys so what I'm gonna do is our poster is actually lying in the poster uh, folder so I'm gonna put poster out here okay and then I need to change it to poster.jpg the name of my poster is poster.jpg okay now let's talk about this attribute preload auto now what this means is it can acquire three values guys it could be either preload none preload auto or it could be um, preload metadata now preload auto means that start loading the video as soon as the page loads none means do not load the the uh, the video even if the page has loaded do not load the video unless and until somebody is, has actually initiated the video by hitting the play button and the preload metadata means that please preload uh, only the metadata which is certain um, some information about the video not the actual video itself at the time of uh, loading the page it's best to keep it at preload auto okay at least that's what I feel and uh, then guys now that I've changed the attributes let me also uh, put in uh, the height and the width, width attributes for this specific video so I already know uh, that this will play best at uh, 640 by 480 all right and uh, now the name of the three videos are respectively in the video folder I have a file called video.webm all right let me copy this bit and let me replace it uh, out here and uh, instead of webm I'm gonna put mp4 out here okay similarly let me paste this out here and is this should be OGV all right so guys I have uh, inside the opening and the closing video tags introduced the source tag which tells Dreamweaver that I need I can I can play the WebM okay and just in case the browser is not compatible with the the WebM format should be playing the H264 format which is the MP4 format uh, failing which it can then play the OGG format guys uh, again let me tell you not all browsers can play all formats so it's best to have all the three formats in your uh, local site folder excellent guys uh, next what I'll do is um, just to make this uh, font in the code view a little clear and bigger let me change the font size let me go to edit go to preferences and uh, in under the fonts uh, category guys 
in the code view I can see that the font is uh, Korea new and size is set to 9 pt which is the smallest let me change it to 14 pt and say ok alright so guys I uh, I'm sure that you can now s read it a little better my god this kind of horns should be banned anyways so you see I have all the three formats the WebM, the MP4 and the OGV alright and uh, next guys it is my turn to save the document and take a preview in Google Chrome reviewer is asking me for a name I'll call it uh, HTML5 video player and uh, reviewer is uh, prompting me that uh, the the page requires uh, supporting files and a lot of supporting files will be saved which is fine I'll say okay now Google Chrome has come up guys and now what the picture that you see in front of you is actually the poster uh, poster.jpg file and as I told you unless and until I activate the play button the poster pi uh, the picture that shows up is actually the poster alright so I can uh, play the video by hitting on this uh, button out here right in the center of the picture or I can use this play button uh, down below here in the corner alright and uh, the video is uh, going to play in a minute guys mm, there is some problem let me just check if everything is fine okay the problem is that the folder is actually videos and not video alright I should be fine now say ok and ok once again beautiful so as soon as the green needle so guys as you can see that uh, the, the video is playing block, uh, mark. this is one of my tutorials on how to make once a cuckoo again. clock in uh, say, Dreamweaver alright it has the tick sound and the cuckoo clock you can check that out too it's a flash project guys there yeah, goes the cuckoo yeah. sound lovely. lovely so guys I hope you enjoyed this uh, and guys uh, you can actually uh, from this uh, small screen take the full screen by clicking that button alright and uh, go back to the, the small screen so you can swap between the full screen and the small screen right and guys since we have all the three formats out here I should be uh, good to go in Firefox as well indeed okay and, okay once again. and uh, it should play very well in Safari and Opera as well I'll just check uh, Safari and I'll end it there I'm sure that will play in the other uh, browsers too alright okay okay yes again. it does so as soon as the so guys um, it was uh, pretty pretty easy uh, it's actually very easy to insert the widget and then uh, play around with certain attributes and just change the source alright uh, now let me talk about how did I actually get this widget out here guys what you need to do is you need to click on the widget browser and you need to install uh, the HTML5 uh, video player so guys as you can notice that uh, I already have the HTML5 video player uh, installed okay uh, what I'll do is see I, I tell you how I got it I was initially in the Adobe Exchange tab okay and then I located the HTML5 video player and uh, I, I just clicked on that and when you click on that guys it, it takes uh, some time and then it uh, installs right now the op only option that I get is to remove uh, it from my widgets let me first remove and then I'll add it okay so it's prompting me uh, it's checking with me dream viewers checking with me do you really want to remove the widget so uh, let me say let me say remove because then I'll ch then I can show you how to actually add it 
all right let me go back to adobe exchange okay initially your adobe widget browser will look like this guys i'm already signed in if you can notice out here you probably might need to sign in guys if you're not already signed in you need to use your adobe uh, username and password to sign in and once you're signed in you need to then um, make sure that you add the html5 video player by clicking on and locating and clicking on this html5 video player uh, uh, picture it'll ask it'll, it'll wait for some time and then it'll give you an option which says add to my widgets you just need to click on that it'll read out a license that you need to uh, read and accept okay and uh, once you accept guys now this html5 uh, video player widget should be available in dreamweaver okay so guys uh, that's it uh, wasn't it pretty simple so i hope uh, you like this tutorial enjoyed it learn something uh, useful i'll see you next time with yet another dreamweaver tutorial or it could be flash with action script 3 peace